Hey, it's Kamala here from Creative Moms Decant. So today I'm going to show you how to make snow globe tumblers that are perfect for summer. Let's go! You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me... So the supplies you're going to need are an acrylic cup, some glitter of your choice. I've got a couple different kinds. We'll talk about it when we get there. Vegetable glycerin, and I'll also talk about that when we get there. And with my method, you're also going to need UV resin, and you're going to need a Dremel tool. And that's the first thing we're going to use here is our Dremel. And what we're going to want to do is get the bottom of this cup in, out into a circle. Um, some people choose to put a, um, a breather hole. This cup that I have completed, you, can, you can't really tell on camera, but I did a breather hole and a center. However, I have found just the right way to pour things and one hole to fill in the center works out really well. So I'm going to use my Dremel tool now and we're going to get the hole in this cup. All right, so if you go clear through the two layers, you've ruined this cup. So we definitely don't want to do that. Also, we have found that, do you see these words on the bottom of my cups? So if you kind of go like in the middle of the A to get your hole started, it works easiest. I'm using a Craftsman today, and I'm going to use it on about medium speed. Remember, once you break through the stuff, and now we want to work our circle out. that up a little bit because anything any edges that are over like right there it's just gonna stop the or slow down the product and the glitter from getting in your cup so and sometimes I got some down in there but if I just tapped it came right down to the bottom and I was easily able to get it out so I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna talk about what I do next all right so I have made four of these and so I'm going to share with you um, what works for me and what I like. And I'm also going to share with you um, the, the reviews that I'm getting from friends and family. So, okay, the next thing we need to do, in my opinion, is fill this bottom rim with UV resin. And the reason, or epoxy, you could use epoxy, but the reason I say that is because every single one of these four cups that I have got here have leaked at the rim and I don't like that. Um, also, I say that because I think this is just a common problem of these kind of cups. Um, that's my opinion, but let me know in the comments if you've ever had a double walled cup that if you run it like through the dishwasher, it will leak um, and get water inside of it. So I am not saying this makes these dishwasher safe. I am saying this will help hold your product inside. So what you want to do is use your UV resin. And I actually um, pulled out some really old Limolite UV resin that I had, or uh, Limo, Limo, however you say it, because it's way runnier than my favorite resin, UV resin. Um, I've used both. These two cups have resin and um, have different kinds of resin and both work just fine, but the Limolite kind is actually so runny that it's much easier to pour down into the bottom. Um, the other cup I have there, I did, that's not sealed, I did use um, my Craft Chameleon UV resin. Um, the only reason I'm, and I'm using it this time, but the only reason I'm kind of hesitant to use this kind of resin is I do, after some time, a year or so, have yellowing with this kind of resin, and I don't want yellowing in these cups either. However, truthfully, I think, at least for my family, if we hold on to these for a year, we'll be doing really good. 
Um, so I wasn't scared to why I was doing these testings and videos for you all um, to use my cheap resin. Um, so um, this one I will sell, so I wanted to make sure to use my Craft Chameleon because if people are better with things than we are, then they'll have just fine luck with, um, then they would not have good luck with this one and it would turn yellow and I don't want to sell a product that's going to turn yellow. So you basically just want to slowly work your resin down in there and that's why I said I had one going here because it takes a minute. So I'm going to move to that cup, um, but basically you just want to work your resin down so that it will all pool at the bottom to seal your cup. So while this one's running down, you can tell it's getting down in there. I don't want to turn it too much that way. This one I can. I just have it sitting on a wet wipe because that's what I had that gave it a just enough of a slant. But so this one you can see it is it has worked to right here. It is foggy because I rinsed this one out. Um, we put glitter in this one first during our testing and you don't want to do that really. Um, I'll talk about that more in a second. Uh, but it's it's to right here is where the resin is poured at and you want to make sure it's all the way around. So it does look like this one's going to need to set just a little bit this way because it's higher on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and um, tilt it the other way now. I don't have anything to worry about up here except making sure that all that resin runs down. And you want to let it take time to do that. If you don't, then when you go to seal, you'll seal chunks up here and you won't be able to fill your cup. So you, you kind of have to make sure that it runs this way for quite a little bit and it all runs down into the cup and then make sure it's sealing your cup. So I am going to continue to monitor this one and fill this one and then we're going to talk about how I seal these and then of course how we get the snow globe effect in our tumbler. With an illusion like a sparrow with broken wings but now a shot all right so i had left my studio lights here off because uv resin sets with um, uv light so um, if you're working in a lighted area make sure you keep them in the dark until you're done and once your resin is at the bottom then you are ready to seal the resin layer and this one, I actually put a little too much resin. And the other thing that I wanted to tell you, it had been a long time since I had used this UV resin. And when I left the office and then I came back, oh, I had to open a window. This kind of has a much stronger odor than my Leon resin. So just keep that in mind. I, it, I, I will not buy this again. I will buy my UV resin from Craft Chameleon, which is why I have a big bottle. I always, you know, and, and in fact, I'm really close to um, grabbing another one, but I just, I, that's what I use. So that's just something I wanted to share. It stinks bad. It did run in really nice and much quicker than the Craft Chameleon resin, which is actually, ironically, a reason I like the Craft Chameleon resin. Okay, so now it's up to you, but I kind of like to run those lines out a little bit and get a little bit of wave going on in them so they don't look so harsh. Then you're going to cover it with um, the, the vegetable glycerin and it really you really won't even notice. And like I said, I did this one. I'm sorry. I did this one like that and you, you cannot tell. It looks awesome. We only know because I told you. And so once you are happy with the run, I'm going to keep that up that away for a second when I run this one, then you're going to want to put these underneath your UV light. This one's going to run really fun, and I'm going to have to watch it that it doesn't get into my design. So, I mean, there are some fun advantages to using the um, cheap resin that I don't recommend um, when you are doing these cups, but I love the runs that's getting in there, and I know that the vegetable glycerin and the glitter will climb right in those areas. So that will be a lot of fun. All right, so once you've done that, you are ready to put these underneath your light and seal it. So I'll speed up time and get these all sealed. All right, so here we go. And I'll sh share a couple tips as we do this um, with how I found it easiest to get my glitter in. 
So the first thing I did was start pouring um, maybe five to ten milliliters of the vegetable glycerin into the cups. And if you hold the cup at a slant, it will work its way down without air bubble issues. If you fill this hole completely, you may need to find something to poke some air bubbles or find air bubbles. So if you notice it's not draining and it's filling up, that's probably what's happened. So we want to get some of this down in here. And then we want to add glitter. So I'm just adding clear vegetable glycerin first. I picked this up from Amazon. I actually am a big fan of the glitter pack that I grabbed randomly off of Amazon as well because I really did not have um, a chunky glitter. So I actually grabbed this makeup it's, it's cosmetic glitter ultra brilliant glitter powder set and it really and truly is looking so cool in these that's what this pink is and this one has some the blue is some craft chameleon but the gold is that same stuff and we're going to use a mixture of it today too all right so once i have a layer of the vegetable glycerin down i think i need a little bit more I was really surprised by the fact that it did take as much that like this is going to do way more than four more cups. So I'm going to work on a um, how much they cost sheet. Uh, so I will um, provide that in our Facebook group, Creative Moms Decant. So find us on Facebook if you'd like that information. Um, but I was really curious and I still have not figured out exactly what I should sell these for. So if you want to catch that information, I will hopefully have that there very soon as I've sold a cup. All right, so now I have one layer of the vegetable glycerin at the bottom. The next thing I recommend is mixing with your glitter. So I'm going to pour some of the vegetable glycerin into a cup, and then I'm going to add my glitter, Woo! and I'm going to throw my lid around, of course. And I'm going to stir this in. And you really want it to be mostly vegetable glycerin. It really helps the oil, um, you know, it's basically vegetable oil, um, but the oil really helps get that glitter down and stirred in, makes a big difference. This was one of Christina's tips. If you want to check out her tip video on um, our YouTube channel, I'll link it. So I will link it in the description. You really should check out her tips. All right, so now I'm going to dump this in and get it running down to the bottom just like we've done everything else, the UV resin and the plain vegetable glycerin. So you're going to want to do this in layers for the amount of glitter and uh, vegetable glycerin that you want. When it gets clogged and full, you do sometimes have to pull out the tool and get yourself a little air pocket back here and that will help it run down.
I'm telling you, the cuticle oiling is real. Everything does get oily. It cleans up with soap and water, and it's not a problem. So as I got this chunky glitter out, I really struggled, but man, it was worth it. Look how fun that's looking. So I am filled to about here. If I was to set it even, I am filled to about here. You have to make your own choice here, and they're all turning out beautiful, so don't overthink it. This one is filled to what we thought was going to be jam-packed. It does have a couple tiny air bubbles in it, but I'm telling you, it does not move. Like, you cannot shake it. It is super pretty, and you can get some air bubbles to work out some of the glitter, but it does not move. So that's this one. I mean, I had it flipped upside down the whole time we were working, and that's what it moves. So it doesn't move. So this one definitely has the movement, and it is filled to about right here. So about this far down. So you have to just make a decision on where you want them to fill and how much movement you want. Um, also, if you want all your glitters to immediately be mixed together, make sure you do that at the beginning because I did the blue separate and I love how this one turned out. It's a little bit of blue and gold throughout, but it's mostly the blue at this top band and the gold at the bottom band except where I UV resined. And so, I mean, I really, this is my favorite as far as how that turned out. And, but, but it's, it is all going to mix together in the end, except what we UV resin. So keep that in mind. So when you're close to where you want to finish, you also need to decide glitter coverage. And I, I have a lot of glitter here. I don't have it here, but it, that's going to separate out. I think I'm looking pretty good for what I want to do on this one. So what I want to do is run some plain uh, vegetable glycerin in, and I'm going to try to move as much of this glitter from this top area as I can on down. So same thing we were kind of doing when things got stuck, just scraping this tool around and helping things move completely out. I'm going to do that one more time. And the reason I'm doing it really particular on this one is because I am going to try really hard to shove this big sequence glitter in this cup. So remember, as you don't have air, you're going to think, why is it not going down? It's air. Work an area to the side. Get yourself some air. It will even, you'll see, because it will blow a bubble if it gets, uh, if you get behind. All right. So once this area is basically cleaned out so that I feel like I can get a big piece of chunky glitter in. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to knock a couple of these out. They don't even want to come out of this hole. So this is really probably tempting faith here. We'll see. I'm going to lay the big chunky glitter in and then I'm going to push it and see if I can get it to go in without too much damage. Ah, I think I got one. Okay, so there is a mermaid tail. So I'm going to continue to push some of these chunky glitters in. The oil makes things slick, so I thought it might work, and it sure does. So I'm going to send a few of these in. I love those big stars too that came in this. And then we're gonna fill a little bit more of the vegetable glycerin. And I'm gonna show you how I seal these.
Woo! Everything gets slick. Have I mentioned that? Everything gets slick. I'm telling you. And I'm messy. We all know that. It does clean up really well with soap and water and also with um, rubbing alcohol. So, all right. I am going to save this. I know that's crazy, right? But I'm going to take that to the edge of my mat and save it. A whole lot of that actually saved. All right. So now I'm really oily. So once you have everything in and to the level that you want it to be, you I would let it sit for about 20 minutes and make sure it doesn't trick you. And the reason I say that is because any air caught down in here could take, I mean, it could take longer than 20 minutes, but to come up to the top. And so you definitely want to make sure where you think your level is at and where you want your level. Um, to match up so I want mine just maybe I'm gonna say a quarter to a half inch from this top ledge and I'm not quite there yet so I'm gonna add a little bit more vegetable glycerin and then I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna clean everything up and we're gonna seal it up we are just about done with our amazing snow globe tubblers All right, so we are finishing up here. All we have to do is seal the top with the UV resin. So I just fill this hole that we've made with the UV resin. And once it starts kind of touching the sides of where you um, made your hole, you can stick it underneath the light and then give it a second coat. And it, the second coat will make it look like it never happened. So that's what I recommend. So there's the first coat, and I'm going to go ahead and go under the light here for 99 seconds, and then we're going to start our second coat. With an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings, but now I shine with your reflection. All right, so the first coat is done. We'll put on the second. I am going to start that back up because that one joined late. And you just want to seal these and make sure that, you know, of course, none of your um, oil stuff is coming out. None of the vegetable glycerin. And if you had a little spill over, you can use those silicone tools or a wet wipe to clean it up. And sometimes you will see some air pop into these. And I made sure to get the air bubbles out of the bottom. I just, I wanted it to look like a professional um, sealed cup. So I wanted to make sure that there was none of that in there and that this all looked really nice. I'm going to switch this one for its second coat. And we are done here. This is how the tumblers turn out. And they're awesome. And it is just kind of playing and seeing what you like. And I'm telling you, when you flip these over, they're so much fun. Every time. I would call all four of these wins, and I learned a few things as I went, but I am always happy when I try something new and I get a four out of four, right? 100% is great. Let's take a look. All right, so I did have a little bit more of the um, ve vegetable glycerin pop out, so I would do another coat of UV resin, but it's sealed enough I can... Ooh, I can turn it over and throw it around and I can show you isn't that awesome so there goes our amount of air we left let's see if I can get that might help you there it is and so there's my bubble working its way up and that's what you're going to be able to use to move that glitter around and I mean that is gorgeous aren't they fun Every single one of them have turned out fun. Even this one that I filled all the way and really doesn't have movement. You can also add a little bit of water to them if you would like. Um, I found I the, the water made the ceiling more of a headache. So I just did the UV resin, a little bit of air, and the vegetable glycerin to slow the movement of the glitter. Likes, subscribes, and comments. They really help our channel. Thank you so much for watching today. I can't wait to see your snow globe tumbler pictures. Have a joyful day, friends. Bye-bye. With an illusion like a